Hey, Lewis here. I just read a story about how people can always find ways to communicate, even if they speak different languages. Well, that was the central idea. What actually happened was... Okay, no spoilers. It was a non-fiction narrative, so it followed a narrative arc similar to a fictional story. Not sure what a narrative arc is? Let's use the non-fiction narrative, The Oasis, Africa, by Ernest H. Griffin to get a better understanding. To better understand a narrative, you can map its plot events on a narrative arc diagram. The story begins with the exposition. The setting is the Sahara, where a group has been traveling on foot for eight days. World War I is famous for trench warfare, and this story is from a collection titled Made in the Trenches. Anyway, the group has very little food and water, so they need to reach an oasis soon. The action starts when they run into a dangerous Shirako or a hot, dusty wind. This is the complicating incident that establishes the main conflict. Clearly, the desert is a dangerous place. Getting to the oasis isn't going to be easy. The rising action builds on the man-versus-nature conflict with some fear-for-your-life situations. For example, the group barely escapes some ruthless Tuareg bandits and are forced to make a detour. The climax occurs when the Sheik, who is leading the group, suddenly stops and everyone's afraid that the bandits found them after all. And the falling action begins when you learn why the Sheik really stopped. The oasis is finally within sight. They rush to the oasis, and the resolution is that finally everyone can relax and enjoy themselves in comfort and safety. So, what is the central or main idea of this story? Let's examine details from the text for explicit and implicit evidence of the central idea. The setting described in the exposition is a driving force for the entire story. The narrator explicitly says that the lack of water in the desert is a serious problem, and the complicating incident shows that thirst isn't the only danger in the desert. You can infer that the time spent dealing with these setbacks makes the narrator's exhaustion and thirst even worse in addition to the desert's vast size and the heat. Then, the man-versus-nature conflict is partly resolved with civilized comforts. Altogether, you can conclude that nature can be harsh and unforgiving. Analyzing the narrative arc of a non-fiction narrative can help you better understand the story. Explicit and implicit information in the text also can help you figure out the narrative's central idea. Now, I need a smoothie or something. That story sure made me thirsty.